okay the next part of the discussion in metallurgy is few important process in metallurgy in metallurgy first one is smelting smelting is it is carried in blast furnace smelting is carried in blast furnace for uh, for extraction for extraction of iron then uh, this blast furnace if you take this blast furnace if you take it contains blast of hot air this is zone of hearth this is a blast of blast of hot air here also blast of hot air otherwise this chamber is also called two years chamber two years and this is hopper this is hopper cup cone arrangement cup cone arrangement and uh, here the temperature begins with 1200 degree centigrade then 1300 degree centigrade 700 degree centigrade and 300 degrees centigrade so here you can see a small outlet escape for waste gases escape for waste gases that is removal of slag and uh, collection of molten metal molten metal so here uh, these are different zones here you can find here zoh is called zone of hearth zone of hearth where in this zone of hearth molten metal molten metal is collected then uh, zone of zoc zone of combustion here coke is a fuel coke is a reducing agent coke is a reducing agent so this coke is nothing but carbon carbon solid plus oxygen gas half mole of oxygen gas gives rise to uh, one mole of oxygen gas gives rise to carbon dioxide gas this carbon dioxide gas in turn again reacts with carbon solid which acts as a reducing agent to form carbon monoxide gas carbon monoxide gas and uh, if you take a zone of reduction zor which we call it as zone of reduction here when you take cup and cone arrangement here you find all the uh, mixture this is called batch this batch is made up of ore plus coke plus limestone ore plus coke plus limestone so here in the zone of reduction ore is fe2o3 fe2o3 solid plus carbon monoxide acting as reducing agent it gives iron plus carbon dioxide iron solid molten molten iron and it gives carbon dioxide as a by product carbon dioxide is a by product the molten iron which is obtained it is in the uh, i mean still it has certain impurities and this iron which is obtained actually we call this as uh, the cast iron which is uh, which is still uh, has certain amount of impurities in it that cast iron is converted to wrought iron in the next process so this is the smelting process which is carried out exclusively for the extraction of iron and if you take some more reactions 
like uh, if you go for that is zone of combustion zone of fusion if you take zone of combustion next one is zone of fusion if you take if you take limestone CaCO3 is limestone if you heat this you get calcium oxide solid plus carbon dioxide gas carbon dioxide gas and the impurity present in extraction of iron impurity is silica silicon dioxide is the impurity that is gang particle this is gang particle so take this gang particle uh, that is SiO2 SiO2 is the gang particle it reacts with the calcium oxide which is acting as flux so flux reacts with gang particles to give calcium silicate which will act as slag this is one of the important reaction which is taking place in the extraction of iron through the process of smelting and smelting always requires the, the blast furnace smelting is a process which involves both roasting and calcination and smelting always takes place at very high temperature the smelting process definitely needs a furnace that furnace is called as blast furnace and blast furnace is exclusively used for the extraction of iron and sometimes it is also used for the extraction of copper copper and iron extraction are usually carried out in the in the case of blast furnace whereas the uh, extraction of zinc uh, does not require blast furnace but it require an iron retort uh, and the purest form of zinc extraction in the metallurgical process the purest form of zinc is actually called as that is spelter zinc and the purest form of iron similarly in the extraction of iron the purest form of iron is called wrought iron it is pure because it contains only just 2% of carbon and rest of the 98% of the metal is the iron so if you go for the second metallurgical process that is roasting roasting is uh, heating the mineral ore mineral ore ore is heated in the presence of oxygen below its melting point to give that is the metal oxide metal oxide and byproduct and byproduct so if you take for example pyrites all pyrites mineral ores are subjected to roasting zinc sulfide zinc pyrites uh, zinc pyrite if you take it if it is treated with the oxygen gas it's a solid it gives zinc oxide solid plus sulfur dioxide gas so if you want to balance the equation then i think if i take two over here and if i take two over here then if i take two over here then i think the rest of the reaction automatically gets balanced take this zinc oxide solid which we call it as zincite and treat it with the carbon acting as reducing agent in an iron retort in an iron retort the zinc oxide gets converted to molten zinc plus carbon monoxide gas the zinc is called spelter which we call it as the purest form of the zinc which we call it as the spelter zinc and this roasting process is always a pyrochemical process it's a pyrochemical process smelting and roasting both of them they are pyrochemical process so the next pro next part of the process here is that is corrosion we take corrosion that is rusting of iron rusting of iron is chemical chemical oxidation similarly rusting of silver rusting of silver rusting of silver is chemical sulfite sulfitization sulfitization similarly rusting of copper is also chemical sulfitization 
सल्फेटाइजेशन सल्फेटाइजेशन केमिकल सल्फेटाइजेशन केमिकल सल्फाइटाइजेशन एग्जाम्पल इफ यू टेक आयरन सॉलिड वेन एक्सपोज टू ऑक्सीजन दैट इज एयर इट फॉर्म्स ऑक्साइड ऑफ आयरन सॉलिड ऑक्साइड ऑफ आयरन सॉलिड दिस इज रेड कलर रेड कलर दिस इज दैट इज ब्लैक ब्राउन ब्लैक और ब्राउन कलर यू गो फॉर सिल्वर सिल्वर इज वाइट बट वेन इट इज कमिंग इन कॉन्टैक्ट विथ सल्फर इट फॉर्म्स ए जी टू एस इट बिकम्स ब्लैक दिस इज ऑल्सो वन काइंड ऑफ रस्टिंग सिमिलरली कॉपर कॉपर कॉप क्यूप्रिक कॉपर कॉपर इज ब्लू बट वेन इट कम्स इन कॉन्टैक्ट विद बट बट वेन इट कम्स इन कॉन्टैक्ट विद वाटर एंड सल्फर और सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड इट फॉर्म्स कॉपर सल्फेट दिस इज ग्रीनिश ग्रीनिश ब्लू कलर सो दैट मीन्स यर करोजन इज ऑफ डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स करोजन कैन बी अंडरस्टूड इन टर्म्स ऑफ द रस्टिंग दैट इज केमिकल ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ फायर रस्टिंग ऑफ सिल्वर केमिकल सल्फ सल्फाइटाइजेशन रस्टिंग ऑफ कॉपर केमिकल सल्फेटाइजेशन सो दिस दैट मीन्स द रस्टिंग इज टेकिंग प्लेस in different mechanisms are involved for different metals during the mechanism of the rusting and rusting is again also a part of corrosion but here particularly rusting is more prominent or more significant in the case of metal that is iron so let us have a uh, extended discussion about the rusting of iron let us see and let us see what is happening in the case of rusting of iron in particular uh, what mechanism is taking place